ask any racer. Any real racer, the number one goal in racing is to be the fastest car on track. You can either put your power up or decrease your weight. Here at Chile Racing, we're gonna be putting more carbon fiber in our race vehicle to get our weight down. We're gonna get about a 45 to 65% reduction in the weight of some of our components, and that's gonna make our car faster. There's two ways you can use to lay up carbon fiber. The first is a welding method where you add the epoxy to the carbon fiber cloth yourself. This is very inefficient since you don't know exactly how much epoxy you use. The second uses a pre printed carbon fiber cloth, or pre print for short. This cloth comes lined with a perfect amount of epoxy, which increases the structural integrity of the parts that you can create, as well as increases the surface finish of the product. But it's not that easy. In order to increase shelf life, you need to use a thermoset resin. Thermoset resins have to be subjected to a specific cure cycle at a specific temperature in order to harden. Currently, Shulip Racing doesn't have any way of reaching these high temperatures safely or in a controlled manner. What they would need is an autoclave. Now what an autoclave is, is a pressurized oven designed specially to cure pre preg carbon fiber. Uh, Shulip Racing wanted to design one that was simpler and cheaper to make, so we designed one made out of sheet steel and some different gauges of tooth. All that is welded together to form an inner and outer shell. The inner shell is what's used to hold all the pressure in and the temperature. So all the heat is in the inner shell and then the outer shell keeps the inner shell insulated and under pressure. So the outer shell will also hold all the external electronics and keep all the external forces from contacting the inner shell. Hey everyone, at this point in the video you're probably wondering, how is the autoclave going to be hotter than Magic Mike on the inside? Well to accomplish this, we have used something that's pretty close to home in the form of oven heating coils similar to this one. These will be arranged along the floor of the autoclave and then will therefore transfer heat to the autoclave and the parts inside it. This does pose a problem. How are you going to make sure that the outside of the autoclave isn't burnt worse than the heating efficiency at the end of episode 3? To do this, we've modeled the autoclave as a thermal circuit similar to the ones we all learned in heat transfer like this one. In this case, the hot autoclave air transfers heat to the inside wall, through the inner shell, and then through the insulation and the phenolic. From there, it is transferred to the outer shell and finally to the cool room temperature air. This allowed us to ensure that the outside uh, temperature of the skin would not exceed the stipulated 40 degrees that we would have in our design specifications. If you come over here, you'll notice that we've had a simulation of the autoclave itself ran in SolidWorks. This also allows us to determine how the fan will transfer air around the autoclave and also distribute the heat. For the electrical system, we got Landau controls to sponsor us with a light tower, a proximity sensor, as well as a pressure sensor. We also purchased from them a T guard, which is an industrial grade lock. It will make sure that nobody will be able to open the autoclave when it's pressurized. In addition to this, we also designed a se separate circuit, which allows us to interface between our Arduino microcontroller, read our thermocouple, control the lights on our autoclave, as well as control the heating coils and fans. We also designed another circuit which incorporates all of the Landau control safety equipment which ensures we do not com compromise the safety rating of the devices. To give a demonstration, the proximity sensor senses that a valve is open ensuring there's no pressure within the autoclave and after going through our delay circuit we can open the door of the autoclave. Ultimately, this autoclave is going to help Shulik Racing produce a carbon fiber components that are stronger and lighter, and that's going to enable them to, put, to incorporate carbon fiber components in a more critical application, including replacing this whole aluminum frame with a carbon fiber top. That's going to make the car stronger and faster competition.